They call him the chicken man. You kind of like the chicken told me I didn't choose it. And for obvious reason. I brought something new to the table for the game cops. And after 17 years in downtown Columbia, he's hatched a name for himself. Now like, everywhere I go, the hell with that chicken man. Because what originally started as a leap of faith. Make a little chicken here. Became a local I phenomenon. I got more fans, it got bigger. I started to buy more wood. In 1982, when Augusta, Georgia, back when he was just Ernie Lee. I get on down in the internet when I get on it. A friend suggested he paint chickens. I said, oh, I don't think nobody really gonna buy them. And it was just a coincidence that he moved to Columbia. You see what I just done? The center of Gamecock country. Uh, go right on to another one. In 1999, with the chickens in tow. It's not a Gamecock, but it's like, when I came up here, they accepted it as a Gamecock. But as an artist, he paints much more than just feathered fowl. I'm gonna change it up on you out of that next one, okay? With the work he is most proud of. I might find it in the truck. Being more on the serious side. And my most memory one, I think, to the whole nation, to the world. Where he likes to pay tribute. Is this one, out the Martin Luther King, the, the Man Nine. To African-American figures through history, such as Martin Luther King, James Brown, and the Emanuel Nine. It took me about three or four months to get over there. That even had happened, you know. But no matter what he's painting, he's doing what he loves. <laughs> and he knows that getting to this point. The other piece of art itself. Wasn't easy. A lot of time we take it for granted, but if we don't come out here and try to make it happen, it ain't gonna just fall off the tree and give it to you. <laughs> and it took a lot of hard work. Don't nobody want to take the time, but everybody want the money. They don't want to work it. Dedication. I just happen to be one that trying to work it. And hope. Once you lose focus, it's like losing hope. And so that man in the tent on the side of the road. See, I'm just whipping them out. The man who's been painting for 51 years. Oh, yeah, they're going to make it here. The man who gets to do what he loves every single day. Hey, I'm painting. I'm, I, I just do what I do. <laughs> is much more than your average artist. You want some? It's going to be a lot of work. His name is Ernie Lee. But they call him. How can do the do? <laughs> the Chicken Man. All right. With Carolina News, I'm Alan Devlin.